Many Class E aerodromes in Canada are equipped with a flight service station which provides aerodrome advisory services. Unlike a control tower, the FSS only provides pilots with information and recommendations based on position reports from aircraft and weather data if it is available. Some important notes for pilots are the way an aerodrome's FSS will display on VATSIM is the airport code underscore F underscore TWR, the F meanings flight service station. Most FSSs are not equipped with radar or any other finding technology, so therefore, pilots must ensure they make detailed and accurate position reports. Pilots should always equip themselves with the necessary charts and understand them before flying anywhere. All Canadian charts are available for free at flightplan.com, in the airport and FBO info and navigation tabs. Pilots must always use their full call sign on initial contact. And pilots should allow at least one minute for a response from the FSS during non-busy times. When a VFR aircraft wants to depart, they can do this one of two ways with a VFR flight plan or without a VFR flight plan. The aircraft is ready to depart. They do not have a VFR flight plan filed. In this case, the flight is on an itinerary, which is made between the pilot and their company or the pilot and a responsible person on the ground. Let's listen in to the way this aircraft calls the FSS. Cramp radio system one seventy two Charlie Golf Golf Julian Tango. Charlie Golf Golf Julian Tango Cramp radio. Golf Julian Tango is in front of the J hangers, ready for taxi if you have our itinerary or found it. Golf Julian Tango Roger, wind one six zero at seven, altimeter three zero zero two, runway one six, no traffic to report. Roger, Golf Julian Tango taxi and hold short of runway one six via the taxiway Bravo and Alpha. Golf Jelly Tango, Roger, runway 16. As mentioned earlier, the airport does not have a control tower. It is an uncontrolled airport. This means that pilots announce their intentions and all the FSS needs to do is acknowledge it and write it down. Remember, VFR flight plans or itineraries are only required when the aircraft is traveling greater than 30 miles. The next aircraft is getting ready to depart. They will be on a VFR flight plan. They want the FSS to file it for them. Let's listen in to the way this aircraft calls the FSS. Cranbrook Radio, Cessna 172, Charlie Golf, Hotel Foxtrot Golf. Charlie Golf, Hotel Foxtrot Golf, Cranbrook Radio. Charlie Golf, Hotel Foxtrot Golf, so the GA hangar. We want to open a VFR flight plan to Fairmont Hot Springs. 6,500 feet, and we plan to depart in five minutes. And Golf Hotel, Foxtrot Golf, Roger. Flight plan filed. Charlie Golf Hotel, Foxtrot Golf, we're ready to guide you for VFR flight plan. Golf Hotel, Foxtrot Golf, Roger. Wind 1607. Altimeter 3002. Runway 16. And traffic is assessed to 172. Uh, that uh, is taxiing for the same runway. From here, the taxiing is the same as the first aircraft. The following demonstrates how the VFR flights will call in order to take off and depart. Crap, Radio Golf Julia Tango is backtracking 16. Golf Julia Tango, Roger. Wind 160 at 7, altimeter 3002. And traffic is uh, Cessna, who will be holding short of 16. Golf Julia Tango is rolling uh, runway 16 on downward departure to the north. Golf Julia Tango, Roger. It is essential for the pilot to report when they are clear of the airspace, so the FSS can take their name off the list. Remember, most FSSs do not have radar. Golf Julia Tango, 
off to Tango is 5 miles to the north, 6,500 clear for the zone. Golf, Juliet, Tango, Roger. This aircraft is almost to the airport. They're about to enter the mandatory frequency area, so now they call the FSS. Cranbrook Radio, King Air, Charlie Golf Romeo, X-ray, X-ray. Golf Romeo, X-ray, X-ray, Cranbrook Radio. Golf Romeo, X-ray, X-ray is seven miles north, inbound for land. Golf Romeo, X-ray, X-ray, runway one six. Wind 1607, altimeter 3002, traffic is 2 Cessna 172 that departed northbound 5 minutes ago. Golf Romeo X-Ray X-Ray will enter the straight in for runway 16. Golf Romeo X-ray X-ray is down and clear. Taxiing to GA parking. The FSS may or may not ask the pilot to report closer to the airport, like a VFR landmark, a distance, or a pattern leg. If the arriving plane was on a VFR flight plan, the FSS will ask if they want to close it. For an IFR aircraft, the FSS must call the overlying center controller for the IFR clearance so they can relay it to the aircraft. Vancouver Center, Cranbrook Radio, requesting uh, clearance for PASCO 3046. PASCO 3046 is cleared to Calgary via Cranbrook Airport's published departure. Flight planned route. Climb altitude 14,000, squawk 7036, and the clearance is valid. Roger, thank you. Pathco 3046 requesting Atlanta Park clearance. Vancouver Center clears Pasco 3046 to Calgary via the Cranbrook Airport, runway 16, flight planned route. Climb 14,000. Expect higher plus five minutes. Contact Vancouver Center 133.7. Clear the zone. Squawk 7036. And the clearance is valid now. Pasco 3046 is clear to the Calgary Airport via the Cram Brook Airport. Runway 16. Flight plan route. Climb uh, altitude 14,000. Expect higher in five minutes. Contact Vancouver Center 133.7. Clear the zone. Squawk 7036. Clearance is valid now. And passcode 3046 readback is correct. Passcode 3046 is taxiing runway 16 via Alpha to hold short runway 16. Pasco 3046, roger, wind 1607, altimeter 3002, no traffic to report. Pasco 3046 is backtracking runway 16. Pasco 3046, roger. Pasco 3046, roger. The takeoff for an IFR aircraft is essentially the same as that of a VFR aircraft, except they must follow the published departure they were assigned instead of making a pattern departure. Jazz 219, Vancouver Center, you are cleared for the ILS Yankee runway 16 approach. Cranbrook Radio 122.3 once established. 
Roger, Jazz 219, clear the ILS Yankee 16. Radio 1223 established. Flight service. Cranbrook Flight Service, Vancouver Center. Jazz 219 is inbound on the ILS Yankee runway 16 approach. Last recorded position was Skookum. Roger, thank you. Cranbrook Radio, Jazz 219. Jazz 219, Cranbrook Radio. Jazz 219 is at 15 DME on the ILS Yankee approach, runway 16, estimating 5 minutes to arrival. Jazz 219, runway 16, wind 160 at 7, altimeter 3002. Traffic is a SOB 340 that departed northeast bound 5 minutes ago. The FSS may or may not ask the pilot to report closer to the airport along the approach like another distance or beacon. The VFR aircraft is continuing past the airport but needs to transition the airspace. Fabric Radio, Robin, Charlie, Foxtrot, Alpha, Tango, Charlie. Charlie, Foxtrot, Alpha, Tango, Charlie, Cranbrook Radio. Alpha Tango Charlie is 7 miles south at 6500 northbound transition. Alpha Tango Charlie, roger, wind 160 at 7, altimeter 3002. Report a beam the aerodrome. Alpha Tango Charlie is a beam the aerodrome to the west at 6500. Alpha Tango Charlie, roger, report clear of the zone. Alpha Tango Charlie is 5 miles to the north at 6500, clear of the zone. Alpha Tango Charlie, roger, have a good flight. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to effectively communicate with a flight service station and utilize an aerodrome advisory service. See you in the sky!